Hello everyone, this is Lucy05 and welcome to the Cobra Cobra Sancho Toy Review. In this review, we'll be looking at the 2006 release by Toy Biz and we'll be looking at the Marvel Legends action figure review on series number 14, Build Your Own Mojo and this will be the first appearance Iron Man figure. Now, in this packaging, it comes with the back piece and the tail section for Mojo but I have no interest in building this figure. Now, I bought this figure a bit more expensive compared to the cheaper ones that I got recently. This one cost 69.90 ringgit, which is equivalent to 20 US dollars. And this is the only Iron Man left, so I seriously need to get it. Now, got the mic there, you got the rest of the waves, you got the bio there, and the stats for classic Iron Man. Now, without further ado, let's open up this packaging so I can molest the toy. Stay tuned. And we're back after removing the figure and the rest of the stuff out from packaging. First, we'll take a look at the instruction manual that came along in the package, detailing on how to assemble Mojo. And then this tiny little section here to show you how to cut the diorama and place it with the base stand. As shown like so. Now the diorama, the artwork is nice. It comes with Mandarin and Living Laser. Problem is, it doesn't fit your first appearance Iron Man. I mean seriously. Is it, that kind of artwork seems like if you bring another supervillain of Iron Man and you replace it that, then yes, it works well. But not like this. <laughs> it, it looks really weird. So I'm a bit disappointed with the uh, diorama as it does not fit with the figure. Here we have the tail section of Mojo, which has no joint at all. But the blades itself is very flimsy plastic, very soft plastic. And this thingy here is also very soft, no joints at all. It's supposed to connect to the back piece here. And as you can see, the paint job on the wiring is not as well done. It's not just the wiring, that thing is not well done on this paint job compared to the upper body of Mojo here. See, there's a lot of these wirings are not well done, as you can see. This entire piece here is not properly painted. Some of the yellow wirings is smeared by the other colors of the wirings itself. So it's not really that great. Luckily enough, I'm not too concerned on building Mojo. Next, we have the Tales of Suspense issue 39 on the first appearance of Iron Man. Who? 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 Very nice. I really love the old first appearance of Iron Man. It also has a combination issue with issue number 40. Let's state it. Yeah. In issue 40, it shows in his first Go Armor appearance. Very nice. Let's take a look at the figure. Now, the figure doesn't come with any other accessory except for the removal face mask. And the paint job is very simplistic. It's mostly silver. I wish it was a bit more darker, but well, whatever. It's mostly silver, and you have this tarnished black paint job on the edges, on the body itself, and the arms, everything. It's like, it's like this arm itself is weathered down, which is very nice. Chest piece here is painted in yellow. However, the comic itself doesn't have that. And, with another comparison, this one comes with an antenna, that one doesn't. But it's still a nice addition. Now, for the scope of this figure itself, you've got rivets on the side, which is very nicely done. So, it's not terribly overly detailed figure. What the hell do you expect? This is based on the old Iron Man comic, you know. The face cup, however, is quite nice. You know, I, it's the paint job on the face managed to smear it onto the, you know, the helmet at the corner here. But it's not such a big deal because the face is awfully very nicely painted with no problems at all. However, he does have really red lips. So, <laughs> look at his face, it's like he's wearing lipsticks. So it's kind of, ah, it's kind of weird, you know, looking at like that. But the sculpt on the face itself is very nice. It looks very, well, this arrogant playboy Tony Stark. So it's very nice. But removing the face mask, 
You see the head and the neck? The neck is too long for this face, but ironically enough, you place the face mask in, it fits very well. It doesn't seem to be out of proportion. However, the face mask, the pegs there, is a bit too small. So, I wish it was a bit longer because it tends to pop off quite easily from time to time. Now the face mask, there's two eye holes, you can see directly into his eyes, which is very nice. Uh, see what I mean? It's very loose. Yeah, here we go. Now, other than that, the hand sculpt, the fingers itself, if you close the fingers, it looks like a fist, but on the other side of the hand itself, the two fingers here, the two index fingers here, it's straightened up, so when you try to, you know, close it, it looks kind of weird. Well, you can have him point something, but still, I wish one finger does that, not two at the same time, but, uh, what can you do? Now, for articulation-wise, the figure, which is kind of surprising that it has quite a number of articulation, despite this bulky Iron Man armor. He, his head can turn 360 degrees, can pivot the head up and down like so. No torso articulation because, you know, seeing that he, he is wearing a bulky armor, so why do we need a torso articul articulation? But there is a waist articulation. He easily spins 360 degrees. The shoulders are very tight. So, listen to this. Oh, Jesus, that's really super tight. I don't want to, seeing even the face mask just pops off, though, that's a bit pain in the ass. So I really am afraid of the shoulder joint, it's a bit, way too tight for my taste. However, the rest of the joints are alright. Arms can spread all the way up like so, and upper bicep can turn 260 degrees. Double jointed elbow. A bit ratcheted, but not as tight as the shoulders. The wrist can turn 360 degrees and pivot upwards and downwards a little bit, not much of a difference. And as I shown before, each of the individual fingers are articulate. Very nice. Now, the hip joint is my favorite among all the Marvel Legends figures. Just like Baron Zemo's and just like Ultimate Captain America. It's not like Taskmaster or Ultron, where the hip joint itself, the peg, is located into this kind of a uh, angle, rather than straight, like so. So, if you want to turn the legs and everything for this figure, it's very, very user-friendly. Should I say user-friendly? I would say it's very good, as you can see. You don't have to twist the tie, you don't have to twist the ball joint. This is good. This is good. Then the legs can spread all the way like so, swivel tie, double jointed knee, and the calf here or the upper shin here can turn 360 degrees, ankle joint can pivot downwards and upwards, can't bend, I mean on the ankles it can't bend side to side that much you know, due to the bulkiness of this thing, and there's no toe articulation. So. Articulation itself is limited to, well, some of the stuff are removed for the articulation, but overall the figure is very nice, very nicely, uh, very nice to pose with, except for the shoulders, which is really super tight. And I really wish the face mask itself, the pink itself, is a bit long, so it will stay under the face quite well, rather than, I don't know, every time you twist the head and then it will pop off unless you twist the head without touching the face paint job is simplistic just you know it's supposed to look like the old Iron Man figure so it's really good figure I really like it I just don't like the shoulders and I just don't like how loose the face mask is so if I'm gonna give a rating out of this figure I'll give it an 8 out of 10 so, thank you all for watching. This is Lucy05. I'm signing off.